everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Caitlin and I am so, so excited to be here today with a very special sneak peek from Diamond Art Club. This forms one of their kits getting released for their five year anniversary. Can you believe it? Five years of Diamond Art Club. And to celebrate this, they are launching 40, yes, 40, brand new kits this weekend if you've been keeping an eye on their socials such as facebook and instagram i'm sure you'll already have seen quite a lot of these be announced as well as some from your favorite creators doing sneak peeks already and the one that i am here to bring you today and i cannot believe it, i'm so excited is spirit lands castle by the artist moonbound studio now, I think her work is absolutely incredible. I follow her on Instagram. She does digital art and as she likes to describe it, it's magical gals and their spooky pals. So this is Spiritland's castle. It's in rounds, as we can see from the pink branding seen on all Diamond Art Club kits. And it is 50.7 centimetres by 83.8 centimetres. Now, as part of the celebration, there is a slight difference to the way that um, Early Access is working this time. So for all Ruby and Diamond members, you will get Early Access to these brand new kits on Friday, June the 2nd, which is today at 9pm Pacific time. For everybody else, general release will happen at 9.30am Pacific time and that will be on Saturday the 3rd tomorrow. So you've got a large window there um, of difference. So just be aware of that to make sure you have the best chance to get what kits you fancy as of course there's a lot to choose from this time. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this kit and I cannot wait to get stuck into our release from a brand new artist to Diamond Art Club. So when you first take the kit out of the box, these are the contents you will see. You have your canvas wrapped in a protective plastic film. You have your toolkit, which includes anything you would ever need to complete a diamond painting, plus a couple of extras. And you also get your little logbook sticker, which has all the information that was included on the front of the box. You can use this in journals and logbooks, or you can put it, I know some people like to put it on their outer box, which helps with storage. It's completely up to you how you use this. So here we have the contents of the Diamond Art Club toolkit. The first thing is your standard diamond painting pen, which comes with a single placer on the end, and it will also come with a matching comforter grip. The colour you get is completely random, um, so we've got this nice orange one in this one today. And it will also come with multiple multi-placing options, so depending on how you like to diamond paint, you've got all options included for you. We have our diamond painting tray, which is this opaque white, which is really helpful when you're trying to diamond paint over the surface of the painting below. You can see your drill feel very clearly um, on, on the actual tray itself. And it has a little stopper, which stops your drills falling at the bottom. You then have your standard pink wax, which comes in a little heart pot with the two heart waxes. This is more than enough to complete your painting and it works just by peeling back the plastic film to access the wax inside. And you've got your little storage pot which will stop it from drying out. You will also receive your baggies. Now these can be used for kitting up or for your spare drills at the end of the kit. It's completely up to you how you utilise them. Now here's our little extras. So the first is washi tape. Now washi tape can be used in a multitude of different ways. I like to use mine to section out the canvas um, into what area I'm working on at that time. Uh, we have an abstract design today with our different coloured blotches. Uh, but what you receive in what kit is completely random. Other people like to use their washi tape to go outside the painting to cover any excess glue and stop little fuzzies getting stuck to it. You also have your cover minder. So I have a little pink macaroon today 
it's also one of those things that's random what you will receive inside your tool kit and if you haven't seen a cover minder before the way it works is the two magnets on the back one comes off and that's the one that goes underneath your canvas you peel back the plastic film from the area you're working on and you use the decorative part to clip on on top and pin back that piece of plastic while you work on it. You guys, this canvas is so, so gorgeous. I just can't handle it. The colour palette is everything. It's so, so pretty. Oh, ah, I don't have words. I just love it so, so much. So, of course, lots of purples, lots of pinks. We will see all the colours shortly. Um, if I bring you up, we could just have a little look. This is Princess Wisteria here herself. And we will go through more aspects of the design and the imagery um, just shortly. But let me just show you what else you will find wrapped up inside the canvas. The first is this thank you leaflet, um, which also comes with step-by-step -step instructions and tips and tricks as well as a QR code to the VIP Facebook group, which is a very helpful resource for anyone who would like to share their work or, or see completed paintings before maybe you purchase themselves. It also comes with a little discount code for your next purchase. Then we have our legend, which comes with a more detailed thumbnail of the artwork. Here you can see the castle, there's Princess Wisteria up in her tower and you can start to see all the different spooks that are around this painting. And here is the legend. So there's 37 colours. Here are all the symbols for you to look at. Now I'm sure you'll agree they're all pretty unique. So even though there's a lot of pinks and purples, you should be okay telling the difference between them all and not avoid confusion because of how unique the symbols that have been chosen are. We can also see that there's three ABs and that's because anything under DMC 150 on the color code represents an AB. And we can also see by this special symbol over here that we have two fairy dust drills, which are the brand new special drills from Diamond Art Club, where there's a fine glitter on top of the drill and it gives a really special, subtle shimmer to it. Now, all of these stickers are pre-cut, which makes it super easy for cutting up as it's already all done for you. And lastly, you have your drill pack which comes with a little sticker on it to represent what kit you have, which is really helpful if you like to store your drills separate from the canvas. So the canvas itself, before we look at the artwork again, is a very thick, plush material. It feels very luxurious to work on and it comes with scalloped edges, which stop any fraying. You've got the Diamond Art Club motto, do what makes you sparkle. And it also includes the legend. You've got one on the top left and there's one all the way down there on the bottom right. It is a poured glue canvas. And the glue that Diamond Art Club uses is this thick, plush, shimmery glue. Very sticky. But it also has some forgiveness, so if you place down a drill and you're not that happy with it, it can be lifted or it can be moved. But once you decide that that's it on, it'll stay. I've never had any issues with drills falling off on Diamond Art Club canvases before. The drill field itself is super clear, as you can see. It's so clear that you don't really need a light pad to make out the symbols, but of course it can be nice to use it to help with eye strain. And this is a round kit and Diamond Art Club has phased out their training wheels. So you will see it on some symbols. For example, on our lighter colours there, the threes and the squares, you can make them out. Whereas on some of the other colours, they're not so obvious. This might take a bit of getting used to if you have become accustomed to the training wheels, 
but once you become familiar with it it is not so bad and they're just as lovely to work on as they were ever before so i'm going to try my best to show off this artwork for you it's a very tall painting but we'll try so this is part of the princess by wisteria triptych that moonbound studio released and it's showing her in her haunted castle here she is sitting up on her turret and of course there has to be wisteria itself hanging from the others as well as these climbing plants going up all the turrets now she has said on her instagram that there is a total of 48 different spooks and sprites dotted around this kit so i can't wait to work on it and see how many of them have made it into the rendering from diamond art club this of course is our big main one that's coming swirling all the way down through our, it's like a purple galaxy isn't it the background look at this one he's so cute <laughs> oh i love it then we come down our turrets you've obviously got your windows i wonder if these are more hiding inside you've got your trees in the background and we'll just go up a bit further to look at the bottom so again you've got more of your spooks and sprites you've got your trees and foliage down here and along here these gorgeous pink flowers taking up the forefront. Such a nice contrast to the pale and gentle purples we had up the top. And then you've got this gorgeous stream coming up the middle, reflecting the castle down below. And of course, more little spooky boys just along the pathway here, leading up to the doorway to the castle. Now, oh, I cannot wait to work on this. I just think her artwork is stunning and I really, really hope that Diamond Art Club brings out more pieces in future. Can you see this one over here? He looks foreboding, doesn't he? Um, in terms of, is it colour blocking? Is it um, confetti? I'd say there's a mixture. So in our background, we have a lot of colour blocking which will go in really fast. Um, there's big sections of ABs I can see on the moon here. But you also have some confetti, especially up in this area here on the turret. Um, and further down the bottom where you've maybe got your, your flowers and the such. So there's a good mixture here, which I think is always nice when you're working on a kit. It's a good way to break it up. So let's go through all our drills now and see all the colours that we have. So get ready for lots and lots of pinks and purples. So here we have 605, 3836, 3837, 3835, 127. This is our first AB, this peachy colour with our subtle shimmer. Then we have Z554. Now, this is our first fairy dust drill. Now, it's super subtle, but can you see that lovely, gentle dusting of glitter on the top? We'll get these out in a tray so you can see them better. But this is so, so pretty. We have 3041, 208, 553, and there's two bags. We've got 327, and there's two bags. This is Z3865, and this is our second fairy dust drill. Can you see there the little dusting of white glitter? Oh, and there's two bags. So we have 963. And there's two bags. 3609. Two bags. And here is 310. 
here we have 210 with a little escapee hiding in there. 3607, 934, 602, 935, 601, 600, 3860, 647, 550. This is 113, a really gorgeous pink AB. And we have 109, it's like a grey beige type. And that is our last AB and the last of our special drills. We've got 211, 646, 498, 938, 3740, 413, 155, and 317. And our last two colours all by themselves, 3608 and 779. I'm going to open up all our special drills, pop them on a tray so we can get a better look, and I'll try and point out just some of the areas that you can expect to see them. Our first AB is 127, our peachy colour, and this is featured heavily in our moon and the sky, as well as little highlights on all our little spooks you can see dotted around um, in the sky and on the, the building, the castle. Um, so you'll see a lot of this one utilised in a lot of different ways. This is 109 and we can mainly see this featured um, on some of our plants climbing up the turret as well as over here and up here as well. Our next and last AB is 113 and this gorgeous pink is featured heavily on the wisteria of the turrets of our castle and the climbing flowers up here as well and of course there's a little bit on Princess Wisteria as well. This is our first fairy dust drill and isn't that the most gentle shimmer, lovely dusting of very fine glitter on these drills. Now these are heavily featured throughout the painting. We've got large sections of it in the moon and of course in all our different spooks dotted around as well as the windows. All of these windows feature it here, here and here, some more spooks along here and it's also reflected in the stream as well. Here is our second and last fairy drill. It is Z554 and it's a very subtle purple, very nice gentle purple at that as well. And this is featured quite heavily in what I would describe as the distant forest. So here, this is all that fairy drill. And you've also got some in some of our spooks and a little bit more over here as well, as well as coming across and down the castle itself here and over here as well. So that's all the special drills, that's the canvas. Um, at this point I would love to hear your thoughts down below but I am also going to go away and start working on this because I am just so excited to have Moonbound Studio as part of the Diamond Art Club artist family and I just can't wait to see what this starts to look like as it gets completed. So I'll be back with a few clips of a few sections that I'll be working on um, just so you get an idea of what this may look like finished. So this is your first glimpse of how you can expect this painting to look once you begin to complete it. I had so much fun working on this painting that I actually stayed up to two o'clock in the morning because I just couldn't stop. 
and I'm just absolutely loving the way it's turning out so far. I think the colours are so pretty and the quality of the round drills has been unbeatable. I've, I've found maybe like two trash drills in this whole section. And I love the fact that even though she's so tiny, you can clearly see Princess Wisteria here, as well as a couple of her little spooks making an appearance up on the top of the tower. I cannot wait to keep going with this. And I'll be definitely posting the finished result on the VIP Facebook group. So make sure you join that if you like to see. So that's everything from me. I would love to hear your thoughts down below if this is a painting you'd be interested in getting and also what other paintings have caught your eye during this five year anniversary event. Remember that the early access and the general general release is different um, this weekend. So I'll have all the information in the description for you. And yeah, please comment and let me know what you think and what you'll be purchasing this weekend. See you next time. Bye-bye.